Howdy tubers, welcome to the Zach Life on a fork. So if you're new around here, this is not typically what my YouTube channel is about. Uh, I built this RV off of scratch if you'd like to see that, do some wool fill stuff. Uh, but uh, I, there's a few things I like to cook and, uh, and I'd like to have a few episodes of the Zach Life on a fork. Uh, today I'm going to make the world's best breakfast burrito uh, and kind of gear it towards RV. It's going to be the R world's best breakfast burrito made in an RV, I guess. You'll have to excuse the fact I don't have these upper cabinets built yet, and that's the place I'm going to keep all the plates and the cups and the bowls and that kind of stuff and the cutting boards and what have you. Uh, and I don't want to buy sets of everything yet because I don't have a place to keep them. So I've had to run back and forth to the house. I've got a few oddball plates that I think I may throw in here for now. Uh, they don't really match the rest of my stuff, but anyway, you'll have to excuse the fact I don't have much much to work with here. So I'm going to take about roughly a pound of this, chunk this in the freezer for later. I'm going to cut this up in stew meat chunks. All right, I'm going to salt this very heavily. Uh, remember, this is not making a soup, and we're not probably going to eat the beef by itself. Uh, we're just making beef broth to make beans with. Of course, I hadn't explained that yet, but you'll figure it out as we go. All right, all this goes in the instantaneous pot. All right, got that set for two and a half hours. Three hours later, welcome back. So this smells excellent. Uh, it, it actually has been close to four hours. It's been sort of sitting here cooling. It takes a while for the pressure to relieve off that. Uh, anyway, uh, this is done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to fish all the meat out of this pot. So next thing, I'm gonna take some pinto beans about a little over cup maybe. Gotta wash them and get all the dirt flies out. All right, and in the Instapot it goes. There's still some fat, uh, some chunks of fat and stuff floating around here. That's certainly not going to hurt anything. I'm gonna set this for iron 15 minutes. We're gonna let it sit about 30 minutes after that. So I've got um, a couple of tomatoes, some jalapenos, and a I can't ever pronounce these stupid things, a green tomato. And I am going to, if you're not familiar, these are tomatillas or something like that. If you're not familiar with these, uh, they're a lot like a tomato. They taste a little bit different uh, and, and they got this little leafy thing on the outside of them and it's got a sticky substance on the outside. You gotta wash them. I wanna wash all these vegetables real quickly. So you gotta cut the butthole out of your tomatillas here you don't want any butthole in your in your hot sauce. We're fixing to make hot sauce with this. So I just had an Oklahoma brisket come off the smoker, and I'm going to take these tomatoes, tomatilla, and the jalapenos, and I'm going to put these on the smoker at about 250 degrees or so, or 275, uh, for about 30 minutes. After that, I'm going to pull them out and bring them back in here and let them cool. I'm going to let them sit for the hour or so until the beans are done. If you don't know what an Oklahoma brisket is, if you're not from around here, an Oklahoma brisket is a smoked, is a chunk of smoked bologna. And I know if you've never had one of these, it probably doesn't sound that great. I was skeptical, uh, but they're just about the best thing ever. They're absolutely excellent. So it's actually four hours later, two would have done it. I left these in there cooking for an extra hour. I don't think that they needed it, uh, but I wasn't really hungry, so <laughs> I didn't want to uh, didn't want to jump the gun. Next thing is got to fry some potatoes. I'm going to peel this potato, peel the potato. So if you hadn't noticed, I got these little induction cooktops. I kind of talked about in my last video, uh, but they're really really cool. I love them for an RV. So I'm going to dump a, a considerable amount of butter in here to use as the uh, instead of using oil because I like butter better. All right, next is the appetizer. So I'm gonna take half of this tomatillo, or whatever the heck it is, and trash can it. And the rest of this stuff, I'm going to just... 
Okay. Oh. Now then, I'm going to take my meat grinder. It's got a patent date of April 25th, 99, so it's probably early 1900s. If you're making hot sauce and meat grinders, the only way to do it. So we're going to start making hot sauce. So some of y'all are probably wondering why I make my own beef broth and my own beans and stuff like that and then my hot sauce doesn't have onions in it. And the reason is, is I've got a significant allergy to onions and garlic. And so you can't buy hot sauce that doesn't have onions in it. You can't buy beef broth that doesn't have onions in it. And so it's not that big a deal, but it's some of this stuff like this I have to sort of home make. I like doing stuff like this anyway. But anyway, that's the deal why my, why my hot sauce doesn't have onions or garlic in it. To my hot sauce, I like to add a little bit of chili powder. A little bit of lemon juice. Just lemon juice, lemon juice. Thought it might have been lime juice for a second. And enough salt to kill a horse. If you notice my uh, hot sauce is about 50% jalapenos, if you're wondering if it's hot, the answer is yes. So I just realized I went back in the house to get the lemon juice and I left this hat on. I wonder if anybody saw me. I think it's about time to be done with the hat. All right, the next thing I gotta cook some bacon. This might be a little bit unconventional way of doing this, uh, but I like to chop this up real fine when I put it in burritos. And the best way to do that is with some Milwaukee kitchen shears, scissors. Yes, I bought these at Lowe's. Probably Home Depot, actually. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna take a uh, take our beans here. We got a bowl of beans, and take this potato masher-looking thing. I'm not sure what it is, and mash up our beans. I probably put way too much liquid in here. So I looked up my stupid camera quit recording. It only records 21 minutes and then it goes off. You gotta restart it. And that's a that's a problem. Anyway, you missed me making the refried beans. Just about the time I lost you, uh, I pulled the bacon out of here, left the grease in the pan, and dumped the beans that I mashed up in here and made the refried beans. So while I was cooking the beans, I brought up as well, I had a subscriber sent me two pair of leather oven mitts. <laughs> I gotta keep this in a silverware drawer. <laughs> no, actually though, these are nice gloves. Thank you very much. So the next thing I gotta make is the eggs. If you're gonna make eggs in cast iron, the trick is it's got to be extremely hot. Uh, the eggs will cook very fast. So I'm gonna start with more butter than I should. If I can get it in the pan. Melt that. So I wanna melt the butter and then I'm gonna take this pan up to the point uh, that the butter is just fixing to start to turn brown. It's just fixing to burn and that's the point that I will crack two eggs and uh, soft scramble a couple of eggs. Pretty non-stick, that ain't bad. All right, after all that, it is time to do it. Yeah, I'll be a little thin, so me.
Is that not the sloppiest? World's best resist burrito. Burrito scarfing contest in three, two, one. <laughs> It kind of tastes like leather. So obviously this was meant to just be a joke and be stupid, <clears throat> but all kidding aside, that is a really good burrito. Um, the hot sauce is my favorite. Uh, if you got a smoker, you know, you could even just throw them on like a charcoal grill, I'm sure, to make it really good. Uh, but that's better hot sauce, I think, than you can get anywhere. And it's super, super easy. Obviously most people want, want onions and you probably put some garlic in, it'd be great too. Uh, but just the tomatoes and and the jalapenos really do make a do make a pretty good a pretty good hot sauce Anyway, that's about the size of it. Uh, this is Friday tomorrow We're planning on taking this thing actually taking it out somewhere. Hopefully we can get that done uh, Probably just to some land. I've got just drive it somewhere spend the night and everything uh, If you like if if you're watching this in the future and you'd like to see some more of these cooking videos I plan on putting a few out there will be a link in the description you can click on the uh It'll take you to a playlist and you can look through them. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, all the good things, and uh, catch you on the next one.